Good morning children. Now you know how to convert a fraction into a decimal number. As we saw in the example, 4 kilometers and 125 meters can be converted to a decimal number as 4.125 meters as 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters the decimal fraction part extends to the thousandths place and how we convert it 4 goes to the ones place and follow it is followed by a decimal then 1 goes to the tenths place 2 goes to the hundredths place and 5 goes to the thousandths place now let us try more examples now coming to the next problem Vishal's weight is 45 kg and 650 grams let's convert it to a decimal number so 45 kgs and 650 grams this is easy so 45 is the whole number part and it goes to the tenths and ones place respectively now we add a decimal for the fractional part what do we do now as 1 kg has 1000 grams and we extended this decimal places up to the thousands places it becomes easy now 0 goes to the thousandths place, 5 goes to the hundredth place and 6 goes to the tenth place and we got the answer as 45.650 kgs. So we can say Vishal's weight is 45.650 kgs. You know we can also simplify it further see here the thousands place has a zero the zero doesn't have any value here so we can omit it so 45.650 is same as 45.65 we remove the zero which was coming to the rightmost side so what do we see 0 at the rightmost place in the decimal fraction can be omitted. So what do we see? Vishal's weight is 45.650 kgs or we can also say Vishal's weight is 45.65 kgs. Both are same. Similarly we can say 1.400 can be written as 1.4 because we can omit the zeros at the rightmost place in the decimal fraction both mean the same value 1.400 and 1.4 are the same the other way round is also true like if we have a decimal number 25 0.5 it can also be written as 25.50 so adding zeros at the rightmost place of the decimal fraction doesn't change its value 25.5 and 25.50 mean the same value now let's change a mixed fraction 25 250 upon 1000 to a decimal number as we see in the fractional part it extends to the thousands place so we will also extend our decimal number to thousands place now starting from the lowest digit 0 goes to the thousands place next 5 goes to the hundredth place and
and lastly 2 goes to the 10th place and as we know the whole number is 25 so it will automatically go to the tens and ones place respectively so now you know how to convert a mixed fraction to a decimal number so 25 and 250 by 1000 becomes 25.25 .25. You may ask why there is no zero at the thousands place? Well, the reasoning is the same. We can ignore the rightmost zero in the decimal fraction. So, it becomes 25.25. Now, let's do another problem. Let's convert 15 rupees and 75 paise in decimal. So we have 15 and 17. We know 1 rupee is equal to 100 pesa. That means 75 pesa means there are 75 parts out of the 100 parts. So this means our decimal fraction should extend till 100th place. So 15 and 75 by 100 can be written as 15 goes to the tens and ones place. So we get here 15. Then it is followed by a decimal point. Then we write the fraction part. See, as it is 100 here, we extend till the hundredth place and 5 goes to the hundredths place and 7 goes to the tenth place. So the answer is 15.75 rupees. So now you know how to convert a fraction to a decimal number. In the next class we will see how to convert a decimal number to a fraction number. That's all for now. Bye bye children.